Hey guys, I was just getting ready to head out and I wanted to make a quick video about how I carry my pipes and how I travel because I'm often curious as to how other people do it. Um, and I don't see too many videos on YouTube uh, regarding that. So I wanted to show you real quick what I do and uh, who knows, maybe, uh, maybe the video might give you some ideas or maybe you can share some ideas of things that you guys do with me and I would greatly appreciate that. So I have uh, three different pouches here um, and it all depends on what I'm gonna be doing for the day and for how long. So I'm more of a uh, minimalist and I like to travel light. For me, less is more. And whenever I go out um, and I know that I'm gonna be smoking more than one bowl, I like to carry this uh, Meerschaum pipe and it's just a little rat raised Meerschaum and it's, uh, it's relatively small, it's not very big. But what I like about it is that I can smoke it multiple times over and the configuration that I'll take it in is I like to take it in this, uh, this pouch right here. And what I carry in this pouch, see if I can do this with one hand here, is I like to carry two different tins. And in this tin I'll carry tobacco, it's empty right now, but I'll put whatever blend I'm, I'm gonna be smoking for the day. I'll put that in this in this tin right here. And I'll also carry a second tin, and this is where my, um, my lighter, and I carry, uh, oh, with this lighter, what I like is it's a little cheap, uh, little cheapy lighter. It, it looks like a, uh, like a old boy, but it isn't. It's, it's, it's a Mr. Brog, and what I like about it is it has a, uh, a tamper, a built-in tamper inside, so I don't need to carry that. Um, I like things that serve multiple purposes, and, uh, and this is one of those things. So I can carry this, I can easily put this in here, and since this uh, Meerschaum is a nine millimeter filtered pipe, um, I have some filters here so that I can swap them out. I usually swap them out after one smoke, and I have some pipe cleaners, and so I put this in here, put this in here, have my tobacco, and put that in there and close it up, and I'm ready to go. That's one configuration, one setup. Uh, if I don't want to do that, if I wanted to go uh, just, uh, you know, if I'm going into a, a smoke shop or something and I, I kind of wanted to uh, uh, go in with something a little more presentable, then I, I may take this. And this is the configuration that I carry most of the time. Um, I between this and, and that one. Uh, ever since I got this one, and I got this on a website called Hide and Drink, and uh, I think it was maybe like 13 or 15 bucks. It wasn't much, um, but uh, so I used to carry that way, and this is the one I, I tend to reach for most often. Uh, oh, there it is right there. There's the, uh, the brand right there. So if you're interested in getting this, uh, it's Hide and Drink. I don't know if you can see that. And um, I, again, it, it couldn't have been more than 15 bucks because I'm extremely frugal and I wouldn't have paid more than that for a leather pouch, but it's good leather. And so this is the configuration that I carry. Um, I'll also bring my Meerschaum pipe and this is so I can smoke several times. I have some pipe cleaners in here. And then in here, let me see if I can do this here with one hand. I have a just a real simple Bic lighter. It's a, a little mini lighter. And this I also got on Hide and Drink also. It's a little cover. But this is a, a mini Zippo. Uh, no, I'm sorry, not a Zippo. A mini Bic. And I'll also carry my tobacco in a, uh, a mint tin uh, just because it's easy. You know, you just, it, there's enough for I don't know, maybe about four or five bowls at, at least. And you could put that in there. And then I also have my pipe filters in here. And I also carry just a, a little piece of uh, scrap leather that I can use as my mat. So I will put my tobacco here, I'll prep here, and um, whatever remnants I have that I don't use in my pipe, 
I can just fold this back up and put it back into the tin without making a mess. So here, my pipe cleaners, uh, I'm sorry, my pipe filters, some pipe cleaners, and something to ignite my tobacco with. All right, so that's, this is the setup that I am reaching for most often. All right, and then my last setup is uh, this pipe roll that I found uh, online. If I, if I can pull up the website, I will go ahead and drop it down in the, uh, in the, uh, the ash box down there and uh, put, it, put that information there. But um, this one I like, it's just, it's a little bit bigger. So if I'm gonna be traveling for a longer period of time, maybe a couple of days, if I'm going out of town, um, I will bring this. And what I like about this pipe roll is that it has a built-in pad right here. So um, I probably won't be able to do this with one hand and be able to look through the camera and stuff, but uh, basically you just, you snap these together and it turns into a tray. So this is where you'd be prepping your tobacco and you can easily pour that back in. I carry a, uh, a tamper my pipe cleaners go in this pocket right here and then under here I'll carry uh, two pipes and so I have a couple of Savinelli's in here that I got over at the pipe nook. Uh, these are uh, also nine millimeter Savinelli's. I just, I, I prefer, um, have the, it's hard to do this, this is my First time I'm doing this and it's kind of hard to, to look through the camera and at the same time trying to see what you're doing. But uh, uh, I like nine millimeter filtered pipes just because I, I feel like it, it does a better job at um, you know reducing some of the tar. And I, I just, I don't know, maybe it's my imagination, but I kind of feel like I'm getting a different flavor from it and stuff. Um, I just prefer it. So both of these are uh, Savinelli's unfinished got them from the pipe nook eddie gray if you haven't checked them out go check them out carry my uh, pipe filters here i will also carry a uh, a, uh, a zippo so i can get this open but it is a a lighter zippo or a pipe pipe zippo and it's a lot harder to do with one hand uh, I will carry a uh, pipe stand, and that's just so I can rest my pipe on there. You guys get the idea. And uh, that's it. So I will bring this setup if I am going to be out for a longer period of time. and. Basically, all you need is, I mean, if I can go with the absolute least, I would just bring a simple tamper, uh, a real simple lighter. I mean, even like this Bic right here and, um, you know, pipe filters, pipe cleaners, and a pipe that you can reuse over and over like this uh, Meerschaum. And that's what's good about a Meerschaum is it smokes dry and it's not gonna, you know, you don't have to worry about the wood drying out. If I wanted to go something like a little fancier, I can, uh, I, I have a couple of Molina pipes here. Um, and I, what I like about these is that they're, they're very small um, in comparison to this, you know, like these Savinelli's. Um, the bowls are a good size, and these are also nine millimeter filtered pipes. And uh, so there's a little ants right here. Uh, which is pretty cool and a little poker that just sits up so if I wanted to swap these out or I can also bring these if I'm like let's say I'm going for maybe four days out of town uh, I can bring these and I can have these uh, and I like to keep them in the car because if it's warm outside the wood tends to dry out in my opinion faster uh, in the car so after I use them I can go ahead and leave the used ones in the car hopefully to dry out faster and then I can swap them so uh, basically all I would need is maybe let, let's say four pipes and then I can swap them out and uh, that way I'm not smoking the same one over and over 
So I don't want to make this into a really long video, but I hope this helps. And I'm curious to see what everybody else is doing, uh, how you guys carry. And um, it just, I mean, I, that's something that I like to see. And, you know, if you guys have any tips or tricks that you guys want to share, uh, please comment below. And if you like this video, if you found it uh, helpful, please like it and um, hope to hear from you. All right. Thanks, you guys. Take care.